Hi, it's Terry Dennery of the MathWorks. So uh, quadcopters are pretty fun. All right, and you'll see this model I produced. I spin these propellers and I get the vertical thrust that will lift this. And um, what we're looking at is a simulation of a mission that's about 230 seconds long, right? And so the first 100 seconds are just reaching altitude, right? So it's just vertically climbing. So I go bring you to 100 seconds. And I think I'll kind of show you how it approaches that position. I think, well, whatever, 98 seconds. So anyways, we see it coming up. And this is what I like. I like how precise that stop is, and it reaches that vertical hold. So essentially, the propeller speeds have been reduced. I'm going to pause that for a second. Bring it right back here. And... Um, the propeller speeds are reduced, and, and therefore uh, they're generating just enough thrust to counter the gravitational force downward, right? And so what's cool about quadcopters is they can only apply thrust in one direction. But what's real cool is that these propeller, you know, propulsion units are, are distributed, that they are strategically located. And therefore, they do have moment arms, and through that, we can generate torques that will rotate the vehicle. And that's how the whole thing works, right? And so, uh, anyways, um, as it prepares to move to the side, that rotation occurs by offsetting the speeds of these propellers on the, the two ends, and we get that torque, we get that rotation, and then it moves forward. So I'm going to now bring you to 150 seconds, and we'll see it in a full lean, and we'll also see it at full speed, and so it moves very fast, all right? And so then finally, I'll bring you to just short of 200 seconds, and this is where it's preparing to stop, all right? And so by leaning essentially in the other direction, it will apply thrusts opposite the, the direction of movement to essentially slow it down. And we'll watch that. We'll see it slow down, and then we'll see it just kind of roll over back into what I'd call the vertical position. So what really interested me about doing quadcopters is how integrated the mechanics and the, the controls are. You know, that you know the, obviously it's a controller adjusting speeds of propellers, but doing it in a way that it needs to accomplish a, a mechanical mission of movement that's highly dependent on the, the mass and the inertia properties of the vehicle. And then when it rotates, we're seeing those inertias become really important, as well as the location of, of, of the, the, the propeller engine. So, so anyways, I find that kind of stuff super interesting because I like mechanics so much. Uh, I'll also kind of comment on the, the battery choice the battery selection is really neat to me too, right? And certainly the idea you want a battery big enough to have enough energy, but also the bigger it becomes, the higher your energy consumption is going to be, and therefore there's an interesting trade-off that takes place there too. And having a tool like Simulink that can kind of accommodate that, that those trade-offs as well as just kind of, you know, exhaustively explore the design space to find the best overall system I think it's just a, a really, really interesting application for us. And uh, I um, think the videos turned out really good, and, and I hope you like this series. So anyways, thank you.